everybody. Come on in. How you doing? Good, good. What, you need a haircut? Come on, get yourself set up. Hey, Johnny, nice to see you again. All right, how's it going? Doing great. Hey, Frankie, you got one last one. Frankie, get your ass out here. It's a new guy. It's taking forever. Let me get you ready for now. Well, we gotta make that paycheck, right? Definitely, my friend. Hey, what the hell? I thought we were close. Was this some kind of celebrity, Harry? Yeah, sort of. You usually get to shave over at a mountain. Well, that's a nice area. Very clean. I do all right. Listen, before we do the shave, I have a lioness at home that says I have to take some of the main off of the cat. You got it. This lioness. Does she have a name? Deborah. I'm Jan. Call me Frank. How long have you been married for, Jan? Three years. Going on 30. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got a, got a girl back at home. She's a real handful. But you know, I've been thinking. I wonder if even relationships are worth having. You know what I mean? Eh, I love my wife. We have a cute little boy. Oh, well, that's fantastic. What exactly do you do, John? Oh, uh, I'm in insurance. Is that right? That's pretty risky business. I wouldn't do it myself. But well, you know, the main thing is you have to trust your intuition. Yeah, intuition. Sometimes that's all you hear. Hmm. Well, I mean, after doing this for so long, you get to know a person pretty intimately. Find out what people have in common. See, I tend to want to find out what they don't. We interrupt this message to bring you a special bulletin. A tenth home has just been vandalized and burglarized. Would you turn that frickin' thing off, Harry? For tomorrow's broadcast. So much negativity. Leads at this time. See something you like? Yeah, nice tattoo. Where could a guy like me? Yeah, they closed up shop. Where was that? Well, it's been so long, I don't even remember. Say, uh, what interests you so much about my tattoo? My brother. He has one more. Just a moment, but first, so the Chicago Police Department has released a statement declaring the infamous obituary burglars, whoever they are, are nearing their end. You hear something on the radio that bothers you? Well, you know, they say they're going to catch these, what do you call them, obituary burglars. I don't think they will. They will. I mean, really, they're making the police look like a bunch of morons, but... Well, you know, eventually, life catches up to you, and you have to answer for your mistakes. Where'd your brother get this uh, tattoo of his? Well, if memory serves, he did time. Harry. Yeah. We're closed. Oh. Where'd that come from? 
You gonna take this stuff off me? See you, Johnny. You can see you soon, Johnny. Right. What the hell? What was that all about, Frankie? Well, who the hell was that? It's one of Chicago's finest. You don't know who that is? That's a good man right there. Yeah, but you don't want to fuck with him. Chicago came together and just rose up against adversity. They said, we'll Asked not him if stand he would for help this. us uh, find these guys. And he says, he says uh, if I knew who was doing this, I'd tell you. And I says, why is that? He said, because we don't rob from the dead. They were pissing off the mob. They were uh, making everybody upset with them. Everybody wanted to take them down, including the Chicago Police Department. And that's where Johnny and his partner come into play. Having the phone number, and then we figured out that they were calling before coming to the house. Robbing from the dead, as it were. There are eight million stories in the naked city, and this is one of them. <laughs>